I want to focus today on sort and filter uh, of a spreadsheet. When you open your spreadsheet, um, you can now sort the information or filter the information. Now, why would I want to filter my information? I can filter the information if I have a big spreadsheet with a lot of information, if I only want certain information to show. So I select my block or my first cell. I go to the right hand corner. I go to sort and filter. Click on the down arrow and there's different options sort A to Z, Z to A, custom sort and then I want filter. So I click on filter. As soon as I click on filter, I will get down arrows that appears next to each of my column headings. Now I want to filter my first column gender. If you click on the down arrow, at the bottom you'll see at the moment that the male and the female is selected. Select all, if I click on select all, the ticks will disappear. And now I can say I only want the male. So I click on male, so it's selected, and I click on OK. And only the male participants will appear. That can make my list shorter if I want to print it or I want to show information. If I have a big spreadsheet, I can filter that column just to get the male participants. As soon as you filter a column, you will see a little funnel that appears next to that column heading. That shows that that column has been filtered. If I want to change the filter and have only the females, I go back. Click on the little funnel, I go back, I click on select all to de deselect everything, I click on female, I click on OK, and only the female participants will be shown in that column. Now you can either just print this spreadsheet as is, or if they ask you to make a print screen to, to show that you've made your filter, Click on print screen or you press print screen, you close it, you go to a blank word document and you paste it to show that you have filtered the first gender column. If I want to undo my filter, I go back to the funnel, I click on select all so that everything is selected and I click on OK and all the names and all the uh, participants will be visible again. To clear my filter, I go back to sort and filter and I click on filter and my arrows next to my column headings will have disappeared. That's how you filter a column. You can filter any column depending on the information that's in there or depending on your instruction that's given to you. If I want to sort my information, you can sort your information just by um, one column, A to Z or Z to A, but we will focus more on custom sort. So make sure you are in A1, sort and filter. If you go to custom sort, your sort menu will come up. You will see that your whole document is highlighted. Now here, we can sort on different levels. So the first thing you'll see is it says sort by which column do I want to sort first. So if I click on the down arrow, let's say we'll sort the city column, the second column first, from A to Z or whatever your instruction is, Z to A. So let's make it A to Z. But now your instruction says that you also have to sort the year column together with this city column. So that's my first level of sort. At the top there you will see it says add level. So you click on add level. Then you'll get your second level. So first you sort by city, A to Z. Then you sort by year, smallest to largest or largest to smallest, depending on your instruction. Let's make it smallest to largest for the sake of, of this exercise. You can add another level. You can add as many levels as they, they ask you to add. So this is how you custom sort by multiple levels. So after you've put in your different levels of sort, you will have to make a print screen 
of this little sort box for me and paste it in Word. So press print screen. You will say OK there. You will minimize. You will go back to your Word document and you will paste it so that I can see that you sort it on multiple levels with the correct information in those levels. Just a quick re re recap. If I want to filter, click on filter, filter, and there's my little arrows. Depending on which, let's sort, filter the city. We only want the East London or the Port Elizabeth people. So you tick Port Elizabeth, and there you filter that column. So there's only two people for that year in Port Elizabeth. I want to take my filter away, I click on the funnel, I click on select all, everything will be selected again and I click on OK and all my information will be back. To take my filter away, click on sort and filter again and I click on filter and there's no filters on top. If I want to sort by multiple levels, make sure that you are in A1. Click on Sort and Filter, Custom Sort, your whole document will be highlighted. Here's your different levels, Sort By, you select the first column or the column that they tell you that must be sorted first, A to Z. Then you can add a level, then by year, smallest to largest. You will have to make a print screen of this, so you press print screen. You will click on OK, you will minimize, you will go to your Word document and you will paste your print screen there. Thank you.